Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk and the future trading. We strongly recommend to get educated uh, before you start using the real money. This is a very serious matter. Right now is 2.38 p.m. the 25th of January and we are done for today. First, we're going to start with the market analyzer. There is five automated to trade on the market analyzer. If you don't have the large amount of money, you can use the ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones. You can use it on a micro account or a mini. The market analyzer is based on one contract and we have right now on the last entry signal, not the whole day, the last entry signal we have 1,776 ticks into the profit based on the last entry. We have the ES 157 ticks based on one contract. We have the NASDAQ 532 ticks based on the last entry signal. And we have the YM 500 ticks based on the last entry signal. For people don't have uh, money, you can use that auto trade on a 15 second or you can use it on one minute, two minutes or three minutes. And you can trade the mini ES or you can trade the micro account if you want to. For somebody who has more money, he can add the CL on it. On the CL we have, uh, as an example, 174 ticks based on the last entry signal. So this is a very good, a decent, and uh, of course we train people uh, how you can manage it is the most important factor is how to manage an auto trade an auto trade is not a just a wash machine you turn it on and everything you know goes automatic you need to maintain uh, the auto trade and it is uh, very important to maximize your profit when you are looking at the chart. So now as we see, we crossed the 2000 ticks based on the last entry signal and it is into the profit 14,000 something. <coughs> Excuse me, if we are trading just ES, NASDAQ and Dow Jones, we have 180 ticks, 641 ticks and 550 ticks uh, the YM is 2755, the NASDAQ is 3155, and the AS 2200. This is just from the last entry signal. So this is very good, it's based on one contract. This market analyzer have five automated trades, goes with it. Let's jump on total different auto trade called the precision auto trade. The Precision Auto Trade is a very friendly use, and uh, it, there is only one entry, and it does not require any filter. That's why it's called Precision Entry, because you can scalp it, you can reverse it in the same time. So the Precision Auto Trade, it is trading with the trend and reversal, and that's why sometimes when the market is chopped, we have a chop in the market the reversal usually in conjunction trading with the trend can save our day this is an example on the YM7 range it's been very consistent the 7 range by the way and you can see how the auto trade took the reversal and nailed 1200 and trading with the trend reverse he didn't take a short trade and then he reversed it one time, one more time, and it was 1260. This is right on the spot. It was today one trade, two trade, three trade, and it was done. And that's what I like to see the 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 profit is done before 12 o'clock because we don't need to stay all day long. On the NASDAQ 410 takes, we were also 
we took one trade, does not take that many trades, and it was 1700, and also it was good. On the ES, five minutes, scalping 1200, it was done around 1030, the last trade, and that's what I love. CL, 45 second, uh, 45 second, and look at this. Usually small auto trades are disaster auto trade. You put them on a smaller high frequency, small timer frame. Usually uh, they, they lose a, a great deal of money. And the reason is because they are dummy auto trade based on like an ATR or some kind of moving averages, irrelevant. And uh, it's just a dummy. It, there is no algor algorithm in there. There is no math. It's just above, below. Very simple. It, the auto trade can be simple to the client and given him one entry, but that entry under the hood has to be friendly use to the trader, but then the complicity is work in the background where the trader don't have to deal with complicity. So this is not true what you hear, the story that keep it simple. Yes, keep it simple from the outside, but do the complication and the math from the inside so can get accuracy in the entry and yet is a friendly to the beginner or to ones that are having a problem with the market they can start from the ti7 simple yet is powerful underneath the coding and that what make it different from just as a normal dummy atr base on above or below moving average. This kind of trade above or below moving average has been out of date for at least 20 years. We are in 2022, the algorithm, the computers, the math programming has become very sophisticated, very advanced, very complicated what you have to think and you have to put on your mind you're not the only one is auto trading the guy has a high advance auto trading he's gonna be predicting the market better than a guy using a dummy trailing stop and based on moving average plus or below like an ATR entry so when you are using something is 20 years old, it's no longer valid. You have to think about that if somebody else is using advanced automated trading. And guess what? For every $100 you make, somebody else lose $100. So for the traders are out of date, they're not prepared, they're not educated, those the ones that give money to the winners, to the traders, the ones make money, they feed on people that are not equipped. They feed on people that are using a dummy auto trade, has no value. They feed on people, the ones are not educated. That's what making the other side making money. There is no way 10 traders can make money and there is no loser. For every hundred dollar, for every dollar you make in the market, your winning is coming from the guy is unprepared, uneducated, and is using auto trade, 20 years old theory that is no longer valid in 2022. So an auto trade is not an auto trade. A car with a four wheel is not a car with four wheel. You cannot bring a Pinto on a red light and you have a Ferrari next to you and you think you're gonna smoke the Ferrari because you have a Pinto. Car is not a car. An auto trade is not an auto trade and the guy is driving the auto trade 
the one is managing the auto trade also have a lot of impact on his portfolio if he is an educated or he just turned on a wash machine and he's expecting to life to be happily after so he is on a different planet so the reality is the smarter one the more advanced people those are the ones they survive and the one they think is it just a wash machine of course this year that will be filtered and that will be totally out and their account will be smoked out and their account will melt like an ice cream right front of their eyes as simple as that this place there is no mistake can be made you know so the es 170 take we have highlighted that on every video and it's, it is be, it is very consistent i don't care about the pnl today made 1000 all of them they are on 1000 dollar trades daily target but i don't look at the pnl i look how many trade we have today and how many losing trade we have this is what we need if this market moving or trending we're gonna have more uh, wider trades and if the market is not then we're gonna be in trouble so if we notice here one trade okay then the market turn around losing trade welcome to trading nothing can be done small trade small trade small trade nice trade and then it was done nicely and easy around 10 15 10 10 and it was done started around 9 45 today and we were done by 10 15 or 10 10 and very nice scalping nailing it easy going and if we and the auto trade is stopped because it hit the daily target but if you look at those condition if we are looking at this area here that would have been a disaster for a trade on the precision auto trade he could have taken one two and three reversal in here could work on your favor but when you are using a dummy auto trade by the time he takes a trade the market turns around by the time he takes a short the market goes up by the time you go long the market sink right under you this area here if you are using unqualified auto trade 20 years old you would have blow your account right there in this area for some people things okay i can get away with rank bar good luck with your rank bar because we do have rank bar and you don't see our auto trade running on rank bar because in the reality beside all the marketing you hear and people don't want you to know on the rank bar you have wake you have tells those wake, wakes and tells because they have to hide the price movement somewhere and those wakes and those tells the one and have an eye professional can can see it those they 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 knock you out of those trades and you don't see in the reality people can earn a living on a rank bar it's only unprofessional people we use rank bar but we use a rank bar for a reversal auto trade which we have 15 auto trade we cannot show everything but um, and um, we need a 20 computer to show everything but um, we use the rank bars for reversal automated trades only but we do not use rank bar to trade with the trend this is a disaster on the optimization you will get yes superb uh, numbers but in the reality when you put them to work they all lose trades and on the es five minutes it's 1925 scalping if you look from yesterday video we highlight the 350 ticks nasdaq and made the same almost the same around four thousand dollars yesterday if you go back from yesterday video and today it is four thousand so between yesterday and today there's around eight thousand dollar on that chart scalping es three minutes is 1650 1000 right on the spot on the 28 second nasdaq three minutes 1350 
11 on the 3 minutes, ES 3 minutes 1600, it's the same auto trade but a different template, CL 3 minutes scalping 1300, YM 320 1100, and the CL 3 minutes 1500, it's the same chart, different setting. The difference between that CL and that CL is the trailing stop and the stop loss. This is the same entry, but you can see is the trailing stop and the stop loss is a different. And that's why you see there is 200 more on that uh, auto trade because we have increased a little bit uh, the trailing stop. So this is it. Uh, let's look at the TI7. It's a total different auto trade. We just closed right now as we speak, moving the chart, we just closed uh, the gold and the gold uh, 1400. And uh, look, also what we have done on the, if you look at this auto trade, on the last trade is using a trailing stop and there is already hit the target and what is left is two trades out and there is 1960 but there is a trailing stop on this one here is the same auto trade if you put a zero zero on the trailing stop and the stop loss the auto trade identify the trend as long as this market is moving to the right direction it's going to stay on that trade until the market change in direction. However, if you think you are okay and now you want to close, it's 2.30. We're done for today. You can use the, the, the button on the top and say close position. And we close position. And there we go. We got 26.75. Once you decide to close position, you should not be trading anymore. You should call it off. So those are uh, the, and if you wanna also on the trading stop, if you wanna say close position, you can close position and, and then uh, uh, you can do that. Or if you want to, uh, you can let it. Uh, if you notice on our trading stop also, it's not a dummy, uh, a trailing stop if you notice how uh, the 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 trailing stop sometimes is given a little space to the trade and and so will not close immediately if you notice how the trailing stop going back and forth with the market price look at it it's a cat and mouth because it's not a dummy auto trade it's trying to see if we can maximize the profit or we should cut it off so this is where development underneath the auto trade the small things here and there uh, can I make a world of difference now if we notice on the YM the, the YM changing direction to the long side and you can see the trailing stop pulled back on the pull back and now is getting tighter and tighter to the price movement and as you notice the market is just is very hyper and is getting closer and closer because the market direction has changed from the pull back and there is a good potential for this market to go farther up. And as you notice, now it's going right behind the market price. And when the market were trying to pull back, the auto trade pulled back a little bit because the trend was not over. This, the small details, those naive traders, they get just looking at the PNL, the PNL is something on a daily basis. 
It can be positive or negative, but they don't look at details the technical details of an auto trade and they don't ask what kind of support they get with the auto trade. Purchase in an auto trade and you don't have a back up training. And now I want to close it. You can close it and it closed and it is 27.25. Get in an auto trade and not get in how to manage the auto trade, how to look at the one minute chart, how to maximize your profit. It's just a garbage money and a garbage auto trade. It's just wasting time, simple as that. On the TI7 today, on the other channel, we had the tax a little over 8,000, but the close on 4,800. Yes, three minutes, beautiful entries, and it was 2,000. And uh, ES four minutes, YM five minutes, 3,500, Scalpin NASDAQ 2,500. This one here was on the other channel today when we go live. And uh, one minute, 1,200 ES 12 range, 1,300 on the ES 1490 CL, and 2,011. The 11 range on the ES has been extremely consistent. Uh, I'm not going to keep covering, we have a lot, but I'm not going to bring everything down to keep the video short. But also we have the institutional auto trade we released last Monday and there is it's doing very fine the institutional auto trade folks that's all what we have for you today I want to say thank you very much and I wish you a pleasant evening God bless everyone bye for now